Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into Nika. Um, I was supposed to do this video yesterday, but you know, I had a lot of stuff to do. But we're gonna go ahead and get into it today. So let me go ahead and share my screen because you know what? Um, Nika, Nika said she's stressing out, y'all. Listen, she said, um, now you're gonna have to make something shake. Basically, that's what she that's what Nika is saying, y'all. Okay, so this is Nika's um second channel. Um, a lot of people, um, some people had questions about like, do she have a new channel? She been had this channel, it's just that she was mainly on her other channel more, so she bare she didn't really post over here that often, but now she's back on this channel to miss Nika in real life situations. Um, now she's back on this channel and now we know why y'all listen. So y'all know that video that she had put up of, um, Naya, um, squirting, running around. She was chasing after, who was it? Kaya. She was chasing after Kaya with the water, um, with the water, you know, that dollar water toy or whatever, right? Just shooting water at her. So apparently that video is under review. This is what Nika said. The video, that video is under review. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, it's under review and um, it could be something else though too because um, I can't see how that particular video will be under review. It had to be something else in the video. But um, yeah, so that video was under review and then, so she's not getting no money right now. So um, that's why she has not been posting over there because if she was to post over there, it'll be pointless because they're not putting ads in whatever she was to post over there. So uh, while she's under review, um, she's not going to be receiving any revenue, right? So now that's why she is on this channel. And um, okay, so this channel is monetized. All right, so now she's trying to get this channel popping or whatnot. All right, so you guys, so let's go ahead and see what Nika's stressing out about, and and um, we gonna figure out why, what's going on, because she's t she's telling Naya right now, listen, girl, you want to make some shake. We need some money coming in. So let's go ahead, and listen real quick. I'm the mother. Yes, of course I'm the mother, and I, I run this household with all my children. Here. But at the end of the day, I got zero time for talking back. I got zero time for dealing with grown ass kids that go on and on and on and on and on and on and don't know how to shut up. If you if you actually be in my house for a day just to be around me and Naya, we got a bond when nobody can't break and everybody don't see our flaws or ups and downs and none of that. Her mouth is just bonkers. Like it's just ridiculous sometimes. She just be going, I should do this, I should do that, I should do this, I should do that, I should do that. Should do that. You can't do nothing, honey. You're in the back of this, you you messed up right now. You can't do anything, honey. The so I find it, I find it quite um funny when Nika tells Naya listen when Naya wants to apparently Naya was wanting to do something and you know she didn't want Nika to be involved in it so whenever Naya wants to go out and do something by herself or she wants to you know any, anything by herself Nika takes a offense to that right y'all remember in the video where Naya um had told Nika that she didn't want her to go back there to her um physical therapist or whatnot and y'all see how um, Nika took that offensive. So, so it had to be more than likely. Um, she said Naya was telling her what she wanted to do or whatever. And apparently it, it did not involve Nika. So Nika took major offense to it. And Nika now Nika's talking about, honey, you can do whatever you want because of your arm. Okay, Nika, if that was the case, the day after she got out the hospital, why wasn't she at home resting? Why did you have her go out probably even the same day that Naya had got out. Why did you have her go out with you, following you around, being your cameraman, being all up in these stores, going everywhere? I mean, the girl has not been able to stay at, stay at home for two seconds before she, I mean, when she was let out the hospital with Nika dragging her around everywhere. Oh, but now since Naya wants to go do something by herself, Nika's like, oh no, you can't go do everything. Your arm is messed up. You can't do everything. Okay, make it make sense. Stop it, please. The doctor already said you got to wait a little for a while, but you still got to know your ability and strength on, on what you can do. Not come, I'm sitting, I'm just sitting there like in the room. Um, talking to her about the insurance on the car what she need to do to try to you know help out or whatever what would be uh, yeah, what 
the hell? What what's going on, yo? Like what? So first and foremost, before I touch basic, let me go ahead and remind that back because I know I'm probably gonna forget it. But let me go ahead and when Nika had first said that um Naya has a really bad attitude and she always talks back. See, this is a thing with, and especially in black households, anytime a child has, um, wants to talk and, you know, like, um, um, I don't know, I could probably give an example or something like, you know, I mean, we, us in majority in black households, we see everything as a child always talking back when they could be just saying how they feel or saying, you know, something to, the, to I, I don't, I, it's hard to describe, but it's something to the effect, but we always take it as don't talk back to me, do what I tell you to do and stuff like that. Instead of, you know, actually talking it out with the child, you know, um, Nika, first and foremost, okay, we know Naya's grown. Okay. We know Nika's the mom, but Nika does not even treat her oldest kids like they're her kids. She treats them like they're her friends. So don't be surprised if they're talking to you a certain way, because this is how you've been always having them talk to you. Like, I mean, why are you acting, why are you acting like a, try, try to act like a mom now, wanting them to talk to you like they're your mother now. When y'all just been best buddies ever since she was what twelve years old, so I mean I'm not understanding where that's coming from. And then um, talking to her about the insurance on the car, what she need to do to try to you know help out or whatever. What as far listen, my bad, y'all. I keep on stopping it, but I'm pretty sure y'all already saw the video. But <laughs> I gotta hurry to say this stuff because I'm gonna mess around and forget. Now, what are what are you what are you having conversations about? with her Mika what like uh, imagine me sitting down with my child who has um a broken arm um and me discussing okay so what you plan on doing about this insurance I mean uh, where's the money going to come from I mean you, you're the reason why our insurance is high so what you plan on doing to you know pay for this insurance because it's not my fault it's yours I mean, I mean, you, you have to fit, you have to figure something out. So like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Why are you sitting there talking to her as if she can go out there and get a job right now? Or, I mean, like when I hear Nika say, um, what she just said, talking to Naya about her needing to, um, figure out something, I mean, figuring out a way to get some money in order to pay this insurance. I'm thinking Nika, I mean, thing that pops up in my head when he could say is that it's just I get the vibes of she wants Naya to go out there and sell some ass I'm sorry but that's just what I'm getting she wants Naya to go out there and sell some ass for her broken arm uh sleep with some people get get some and get the money that way or go find an older guy and um and um swindle him out some money like I don't know that's the just the vibes that I'm getting because I'm confused as to what she's supposed to do it would be good for her at home. Her mouth go, well, I should just leave. I should never come back. I should go out of state. Um, I should die. I should this. I mean, just so much stuff that was just coming all out of her mouth. Like, you know, why would you even say you should die? Like, that's nothing you should Cause you are, cause you're putting too much pressure on her. That's the reason why she got into the car accident in the first place. I mean, you put all this pressure on her. You keep on complaining about bills and stuff. To me, I don't know. I'm not really believing this story about this nine hundred dollar um insurance. I think Mika's dry begging. She's definitely dry begging because her birthday is coming up, you guys. And remember, she did say that she wanted to go out of town. So I think Nika's trying to get some money up for her birthday. She wants probably Keisha to reach out to her. She wants some of her little bookies to send her um, some cash apps, some money and stuff like that. So she could lay off a Naya. Like, I don't, I'm not believing this $900 car insurance crap. I'm not. Just say, you know, I gave you life. It's the reason why God still got you here because you've been in a horrible accident. You got to thank God for, the, for at least the little things. You got to pray about everything. Not sit up here and feel like you're downing yourself on situations that, you know, so you can't change. You're going to have to, oh my God. Lord, you help me. 
mm, it's like they grown now like they they feel like you can't tell them when they're right or when they're wrong but if a child is 18 of age or older living in your household under your roof you have to address them on what they're doing wrong because you have done raised them to the point where you're grown now you can go out there and get a job so what is she doing wrong nika what is she doing wrong that's what that's what the people would want to know. What is she doing wrong? What are you telling her that she's doing wrong? You can work. You can get the things that you need and want. You can't rely on my money or rely on what I got going on. You have to go out there on your own. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh no, she did not just say that. No, she did not. She said that 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 Naya cannot rely on her money and what she has going on. When she has had Naya out here working ever since she was what 13 14 years old and you've been relying on naya's money stop it stop hey bro oh my god oh. everybody will never see what you could go through never ever See what I go through behind clothes. I actually just play the cameras back. I was like, well, damn, how you deal with it? You the mama, put your foot down. Or you the mama, you need to be doing this different. Huh? You need to be doing this. And you need to be, man, boy, I tell you. All I'm trying to do is help a person. Now, I probably understand and know that she's in pain right now. Yes, but the pain ain't, ain't gonna, and the pain is not stopping your mouth or getting you bopping your mouth. They feel like when they get a certain age, they can't be touched. Oh, you can be touched. I know parents right now be knocking the kids out at a certain age. You can't come up in your parents' house and think you can talk back to them. These kids nowadays just feel like they're so darn grown, they don't have to listen to nothing. Only thing I said to this girl was, you got the insurance skyrocket right now. We wasn't worried about it. We was worried about trying to get your health back, worried about everything else, blocking out all the negative and the devil. I wasn't worried about this insurance until I got an email and I called this lady. She said, yes, my insurance is going to be $900 a month. That's a lot for two cars. Like, I'm trying to find some place else, but you can't just up and leave no policy. And I was trying to tell her, like, I mean, you saying that you didn't hit him, you saying he hit you, and what, what, what's what's the case? Like, what what's really the case? Like, what is going to happen? Um, They got to claim, they got to take out and do... um to see if she can get any money from the accident because she was hurt. But my thing is, the state trooper got there on time, and he investigate the accident, and he see what is what. They saying she's still at fault, but the, she said the man wouldn't help her do nothing. You ain't get my glasses, no nothing like that. Please, you know, please. Mm -mm. So I'm confused. So she said it was not. We gonna go with the story based off of what she said. Okay, so she said her insurance will be nine hundred dollars a month. Do they have full coverage insurance? Because 900 for two cars, even if it did go up after the accident, that's just ridiculous, first and foremost. I mean, um, that, that sounds to me like it could be full coverage, right? So if it's full coverage insurance, because she says that Naya is trying to see if she can get some money also because she was also hurt, right? But if it was a liability, she wouldn't be getting no money if she was hurt. So they had to have full coverage, right? So if you have full coverage, that covers your vehicle as well. So they would just, if Naya's vehicle is totaled out, they would write her a check for the, you know, the um, Kelly Blue Book value of that car. That's money right there that she would be getting. So, see, the thing, it, it's just, it's, it's not adding up for me. It's not. That's why I'm just, I'm finding it hard, finding it hard to believe the $900 um, dollars, unless she's like paying it you know how they stretch it out like over a six month span and you can either pay it all right now or you could pay it over the six months. Like they'll divide it into six payments, right? So is that what it is? But once again, it's her word. She said that Naya is trying to get money because she was also hurt. So if she's trying to get money from her insurance, then she had to have full coverage. But then again, where's the check for her car being totaled? Yeah, yeah.
We're gonna get it today. No, oh, we are. I had to grab it. Off the camera. Yep. I got it. There we go. How's it now? And talk with her no more. Cause like talking to the back of a damn wall. You just standing there talking to her. She's just going blah 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 blah. You don't know how to be quiet. I'm walking out the door. I'll be back later. I'll take a long drive. I'll come back. I'm dealing with my son with his um, situation he got going on right now in his life and dealing with my oldest daughter with her life. Dealing with Leah want to walk outside the house at nighttime. Um, dealing with Asia don't want to pick up trash off the floor. He don't want to do nothing. It's like my head is overwhelmed. I don't know if I should spass out or what. I'll just, just say forget it all. Just discipline more or whip or something I do it's like i'm in a trance right now I'm like i'm going this way i'm going that way i'm going all the way around the world see that's one thing that they lack <clears throat> nika they lack discipline listen if hj don't want to pick up the pick up listen so are you having him wanting to pick up everybody's mess because i see that as a problem how about you have everybody clean up after they damn selves how about that including those little ones because they make all they make the majority of the mess if they clean it up guarantee you they won't make it like i can't i can't i, can, I cannot i cannot like my kids listen i had my first three kids um i had three kids by the age of 21 I had my first kid at 19. So they were really close in age. We're talking about three babies. None of them are twins. I had three babies all under 26 months old. Okay. While they were going up into their toddler stage, they all grew up together. Did, did they run around making messes, throwing stuff all over the floor? No. Want to know why? Because they were taught not to fucking do that. Okay, I don't even think I even had to tell them um, not to do that or whatnot. I can't remember. But all I know, remember is that they did not just throw stuff on the floor, um, open up water bottles, throw it all, throw the water all across the floor, have trash laying it where everywhere on the floor, crumbs and stuff, just knock a food, have a food fights and stuff. That's what it looks like in this um kitchen area it looks like they the kids just have a food fight at the amount of everything that's on the floor so nika it's discipline these kids your your kids lacking discipline have every kid go have every child pick up after themselves hj has a chore i mean assign a chore for each kid if the kids don't want to do their chores if they don't want to pick up after um themselves take away those devices okay until they start doing it that's what you do if you have if now i don't know if leah is actually walking out at um trying to walk out the house at night talk to her and try to figure out what's going on where is she going what I mean what what do you what did you need a breath of fresh air is she just stepping out on the back porch just to get some quiet time or um just to breathe some fresh air because the air in that in the house ain't that fresh and maybe stink i mean i i don't know but yeah discipline is lacking in your household you need to get it together girl and as a mom i know a lot of y'all can relate to this like it just my my whole head is just like it's floating like it just ah, i just want to scream i just want to yell or something like like i just want to you know no you don't know it's just hard to say like i mean if you think you're so darn grown with a broken arm and you can go out there and do it, do it. Show me what you can do. Not big mountain and talking all that big game like you about to do this and that in the third. You be waving at the sky. Huh. I just hate when teenagers do that. They just be talking out of their mouth. Be quiet and listen to what I got to say for once and for all. We live in once in this life. You know what I'm saying? You make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Nobody perfect. We understand you've been in an accident. We understand the things that you're going through. We understand that your arm hurt. We understand that your arm broke, but you're still alive. You got to think about the things that God got in front of you now, not worry about the things that ain't going to happen. That's the past. Keep moving. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I'm trying to tell is like, let me tell you as a point of view, as a mom, I never had a mother figure in my life. I had a grandmother. You know what I'm saying? My grandma was more stricter than anything. I had to get away when I was 17. I had to run away. Like a runaway slave under the railroad track or something like that. You know, it's so like Harry Potter had to free her slaves. That's how I felt like I was when I was a kid. I'm a grown mother raising 10 kids and never thought it would have never been this hard for me to do this. You know what I'm saying? I I, I signed up for this when I know I laid down in that bed, I opened my legs up and got pregnant with my daughter. Okay. But it's 19 years later. 
of dealing with everything in front of us. Our real life situation that we're going through now is our real life. And most of the time I vent to social media to go out there and let the world see, you know, this is the things that I go through behind closed doors with my children. If I actually put a footage out there and be like, this is what I go through. And y'all actually see how Naya Maud is? Y'all be like, what? That don't seem like nice. Like she's calm, cool, and collective, you know, like a mom. But that's just how teenagers are when they get a certain age. They just feel like they got to have things a certain way. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here on earth and God. You know, so you got to be thankful for the things that God has. So that's the thing where Nika keeps on getting it twisted. She keeps on saying, if it wasn't for me, you would not be here. Um, and more than likely, this is what she says to Naya. This is where, you know, for some reason, and Naya don't see it. Maybe Naya starting to wake up because Naya is starting to, you know, um, have a voice when it comes to... Um, comes to Nika, like in a previous reaction, you know, they was going back and forth before they walked into, I believe, what was it, family, well, Dollar Tree or whatnot, they were going back and forth. But um, Nika seems to think that just because they're her kids, they have to do everything that she say. Like, not even though Naya's grown, even though she's still living in Nika's house, just because you... Just because Nika's telling her to do something, which more than likely Naya, Naya just don't want to do it. And, you know, Nika more, Nika, listen, bottom line is Nika wants Naya to be more active on her YouTube channel. Nika wants Naya to start, you know, uh, it all boils down to Naya needing more watch hours so she could get monetized, I guess, which I mean, I she gets views. I'm confused at why she doesn't get the watch, why she does not have to watch hours right now. Maybe because people were just like getting bored with just watching her talk. I mean, she talks like in a, um, she talks like in a flat voice. There's like no enthusiasm. There's like, it's just, it's just a regular, just like flat, straight voice, nothing else. But um, Nika wants Naya to be more active on her YouTube channel so she can start bringing in money. Naya already stated on her YouTube channel that she does not want to do YouTube. She doesn't want to do it. She'd rather be out there working. Now, the thing with that is Naya, the day that Naya got into her car, the car accident, right? Naya went to the interview. Naya said this on her channel. She said, and I mean, and the way she said it, it was just like, I mean, girl, like I would be embarrassed to tell people that she said that she would have been making $11 an hour at that job, $11 an hour. I'm baffled. I'm like, jobs are still out here paying people $11. Like, is this really real? Like, listen, I don't know if this is something that's done just only in Sumter Maybe that's just the way they're paying people there. Maybe everything is just less expensive there or something like that. But $11 an hour and you were happy to want to accept that job. And I heard that that job was what? They said it was like more than 45 minutes away from um, Nika's house or over an hour or something like that from Nika's house. Girl. All your money is going to gas if she was going to stay living with Nika. Because y'all remember, before she got into the accident, she was back and forth from Nika in someone else's house that she was staying at. So, um, yeah, but what? $11? Baby, you might as well go work at McDonald's. They, I mean, where I'm at, they, they paid them $14. $11? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I mean, and she I don't know if that was the most that she ever been paid because she was happy to say that and they were gonna pay me eleven dollars an hour. Girl, I don't know. Maybe this is a Sumter thing. I don't know, but eleven dollars wouldn't be able to move me. I would put no. Well, let's continue. It's here for you. There's a purpose and a reason why you're still here, Shania. Lord, can you just see that? I gotta go one day. I ain't gonna be here always, but I'm always talking and 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 telling you these things. Like if you don't see it through me talking to you in the household, you can see it through a video because you watch the YouTube channel. Just believe in what my what your mama's saying. We all make mistakes. We all are human. We're not perfect. 
The things that you're going through, I understand. And so what I don't understand, because I'm not inside of your body. We all are human. I don't want I mean, like, I can't say how you're really feeling because I'm not inside of your body, but I can see all the outside of your body. I know, you know, the, the pain and the stuff that you go through, you talk to me about it. But this is a situation we got to deal with together that we're going to have to figure out. You know, like she wants y'all to come over to her YouTube channel. It's one thing I want to bring up on this vlog right here while I sit in my car before I go in the house and cook. You better break my glasses. Is I need you to get up, get your YouTube videos posted or something. Um, go out there, you know, do just make a vlog or something. Like she wants y'all to come over to her YouTube channel to show some support to her channel so she can get her views up and get her watch hours up. Okay. Um, my other channel is under review. Um, somebody texted me on here today. It's under review because somebody reported a video of um, child safety with me and the kids playing water gun fights. Well, they playing water gun fights. I just got that email um, two days ago. So I, I had already done backed off the channel anyway. So while it's under review, I'm going to give it a chance to um, go through what I hope you two can go ahead and put my video back and let me know what they're going to do. Okay. Well, other than that, they were just playing water fight. I don't see what that was the problem with that. But I was telling her sometimes you get a lot of discrimination on the internet. Sometimes you go through a lot with dealing with social media alone. Um, stay positive on what you do and how you do it. Always stay motivated, dedicated, and always communicate, you know, with me or anybody if she feel like there's something that she wants to put out there in the world. Like y'all tell her what kind of vlog she should do to make her views go up or make money or however of that nature. I just trying to make sure that, you know, she gets some kind of help with getting the money she needs to get the things that she needs at this time. I am taking care of her and doing um you said what well, let's let's run that back one more time real quick. What? With getting the money she needs to get the things that she needs. Oh, you mean get the money that she needs to get the things that you need? You want to make sure she gets money so she can pay for the supposedly $900 insurance or help you with some bills and rents and everything. Like, listen, okay, yeah, Naya's grown. Okay, listen. I mean, if, you know, a lot of people are, they have a different opinion, you know, like, okay, um, you're grown now, so you can start helping out paying the bills and paying the rent. But what if they was to move out? You will still have to pay the full rent and the full bills because you're the only adult in there working. See, like, I don't, I don't, I don't really like that. Like, you know, I don't. Like, my kids, you know, my oldest kids, they'll be 18 in what, three and four years three, four, and five years. That's for my three older kids. They'll, that's when they'll be 18 years old. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to have them pay rents as soon as they get a job. That's something I'm not going to do. I want them to save their money. They're going to be going to college. Um, my boys going to college, playing football, and majoring in something when they go to college. My daughter, she changed her mind. She, did, she she no longer wants to be a teacher anymore. She wants to be a doctor. So that's the field that we're going to be looking into. So, I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> what? Why would I, mean, as soon as they start working, I mean, which I don't want them to work until they are out of high school. I mean, because they, you know, listen, while you're in school, you have to focus on school. You have to focus on getting your grades up so that if I don't have the money to send them to college to pay their tuition to get them into college, then they can have scholarships. Right. So they have to have good grades. So that's the thing that they need to be focused on and not focused on work and trying to get money. I provide everything they need. Me and their father provides everything that they need. So they can just focus on getting good grades. That's it. At this time, I am taking care of her and doing everything I can to help her because Naya was always there for me. When, mm -hmm. when the times were low she for me, was. I didn't have money yep. or a job at that time. She mm -hmm. was always there. So I'm here to lift her up, I'm not here to bring her down. And that's one thing she's not seeing because she's got a lot. No, because you're not lifting her up, Nika. You're not. You're not. You're 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 doing the same thing that you were doing before she got into that car accident if you don't see this i mean there's something wrong with you you keep on bringing up money and issues with money and stuff like that now you're coming to her instead of you know staying it out 
Like, oh yeah, oh my God, I don't know how we're going to just pay this gas bill. Instead of just saying that out loud like you used to do, now you're coming to her like, listen, you got to find something to do. I mean, I know your arm is broken, but hey, there's got to be something that you, you can do to get some money rolling in here because these bills ain't about to pay itself. You know, I got this YouTube thing going, my channel's under review. You need to get your YouTube channel popping. You already got the subscribers. Keep posting videos, uh, maybe even go live so you can get your watch hours up and everything. So, you know, we can start having money rolling in here. I mean, you, you just can't be sitting around. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, I know your arm is broken, but baby, um, but yeah, you got to get do something to get some money. I mean, what? Like, what? This girl's crazy. A lot going on up here with school and her siblings around, the accident, her car is gone. There's a lot of stress on her body right now, and I understand all and that. You I just tell to her, take it. her time, take those steps. You can work from home. We can buy a computer or whatever software whatever you need and you can start listen, at home to where you know you can do listen the only thing that naya can do at home is the chat you know um be it be a chat working you know doing that um uh, she cannot be on the phones with customers absolutely not that house is nothing but chaotic noise I mean, constant yelling, kids screaming, babies crying. Hell no. She will get fired before she even before she even gets on the phone with customers because they have to go through a training phase. I did customer service for the past three years working from home. I don't do it no more because, listen, these customers up. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. you're not going to talk to me crazy. That's what we're not going to do. And, you know, my supervisors, they didn't like the way I, I mean, no, sometimes you, because your calls can get QA to where they're grading your calls and stuff. So sometimes you got to sound, you know, professional, but yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to learn how to cuss, you know, you, you got to know how to get at them professionally, you know, get put them in a pay, place professionally. And sometimes the customers, they'll take you there. And I ain't got that to do. They got on my damn nerves. But yeah, you got to have a quiet work environment. That's something she don't have to do. That's something that she don't have at home. So she can be a chat representative. That she can do. Do something like call center or something like that at home so you can get money. But the YouTube is not jumping for her. She is getting very, very, very stressed out about it. I'm stressed out about a lot of things. Tell her to go I'm live. I'm bloated. Like, with, oh, everything up in here from everybody all my kids um, my family member i found out just died i found out in the store a few minutes ago so i'm gonna get on facebook and, and um hit up with the family with that there's a lot of person has stored into their minds you know there's a lot that person goes through if you don't have kids and you're not raising teenagers you're not raising kids and you don't know what i'm talking about you're not knowing what i'm going through somebody got this car and go in this house start taking a hot shower um to clear my head um I did took a drive, went to Dollar Tree and picked up some tissue and stuff for the house. That's nothing I want to talk about. These kids roll off toilet paper like like it's money, like they go in the store and spend money. And it's crazy. That's why I went back in there and bought some more toilet papers. Nika, come on now, stop it with the toilet paper. You only buy one thing of Dollar Tree toilet paper. It comes in four rows and it's not enough toilet paper on each row. Stop it now. Um, there is what? nine people what what's nine people in there who gotta wipe their ass we're not including the baby because she's not using toilet paper but nine people who's wiping their ass girl and you keep on buying these dollar tree four rows four small rows stop it it's it's gonna you're gonna be uh you <laughs> constantly going to dollar tree every day getting toilet paper it was a stuff in the house every time you turn around there's no toilet paper in the house there's no soap in the house. There's no dish detergent. There's nothing. And I'm struggling as it is now trying to get everything done. And I'm doing it by the grace of God. I thank God to be here today, you know, each and every day in the number with my children to be here to see another day. I have my chest been locking up on me for the last couple of days. I had to hold that thing. I went out and bought me some Tylenol. Um, where I put some Tylenol? Yeah. So, moral of the story, you know what? Um, Nika, I don't know what you want um, Naya to do. I don't know what you want Naya to do, but um, 
mm, it's she 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 can't she can't she doesn't want to do YouTube. It's something that she's not passionate about. And if you're not passionate about doing it, then it won't succeed. And that's why she does not have the watch hours. Maybe if she goes live and take it more seriously, maybe then, you know, um, maybe then she'll get the watch hours that she needs. She'll bring in new subscribers because all of the su subscribers that Naya has now comes from over Nika's channel. Okay. They do. Sorry, but they do. So she needs to get her own audience. But anyways, you guys, go ahead and leave your thoughts below. Go ahead and like this video if you have not already. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. And subscribe if you have not already. All right. Deuces.